Hey guys, how's it going? Mike down here in the RC corner. This is going to be a little summer update video, so let's get the video going and I'll give you the details. All right. Thanks as always guys for tuning in and we're now in early July when this video is being shot and we are in the throes of summer. A lot of things I want to do for RC and just need time to do it and some of my plants get thwarted by the weather. Still the hot topic on my channel is that uh, Su Chai Yu, the Z, G, L, L, S, G, L, whatever, the 16th scale, a uh, little speed ripper. And I've been trying to get it out on 3S and I had it all ready to go. And it just turned into a thunderstorm afternoon when I went to the church parking lot by my parents' place. So that's still coming. Another thing is still coming too is behind me. I've learned here that the MGX uh, Huna truck style, everyone keeps telling me, Mike, that will run on 3S. And I thought it was different electronics because over down there somewhere, down here, the Mu4, which is also a MGX, that will not run on 3S. I dropped in 3S onto that one, I believe, and it just wouldn't go on. We're gonna give that one a speed rip, and that'll be a lot of fun. And that one was significantly less money than the, the model with the black body. So um, I'm really excited to give that a rip because then that thing's really gonna truck. And it's a real stable RC, and I really like it a lot. Give it a lot of runs. Up there, above my finger, is my Stampede and i got new tires for that one of the interior hexes on the tires got stripped so it was basically three wheel drive even though all four axles were turning the one wheel was just spinning on and i got some new meats off of timu so that'll be a video coming up later on and we'll see if you can get good cheap monster tire truck tires from timu and they look promising i'll say that but Tess will be giving it a rip. I've uh, been real busy with my laser stuff. I don't think you guys care about that too much, but uh, we've got a lot of laser projects also keeping me busy, biting into my RC time. Also going out west, western Canada. Never been to the Rockies before. We're going to go see relatives in uh, northwest of Edmonton, and then we're going to do that for a few days, go to the West Edmonton Mall. So maybe some of you people know about that place. That's a really huge mall. That's pretty cool. I used to have an indoor roller coaster. The Edmonton Oilers practice there. It's got an indoor water park. This place is gigantic. Should be a lot of fun. And then we're going to the mountains into Banff and National Park. And we'll be staying in Calgary and we'll be driving back and forth. And I'll have a video on that. It'll be non RC related because I don't have space to take RCs with me in this trip as we're flying on a pretty good budget line out west because it is pretty pricey. Everything's pricey in Canada. Piss on that stuff. And <laughs> don't get me started. Really looking forward to that. We got cottage time coming up. So, uh, also doing some crawling with the crawler group. There's all kinds of stuff, so busy. Uh, not enough hours in the day, not enough days in the week, but it's all good in the hood. So a lot of RC stuff coming yet. I'm gonna build an LCG with the hoot crawler frame from AliExpress and we'll uh, talk about how that went along and uh, that should be fun. Uh, we're also gonna do the kayak, a lot of fun. I got two kayaks now. If you look on top of, I think it's over there above my finger. We got dueling kayaks, so we'll have some cool kayak, <laughs> kayak duels out in the pool. Um, over there too, uh, way in the back corner, we got the zigzag racer that I got from the ear cycler like last year and still haven't gotten that out of the box. And you just go down the laundry list of things that uh, need to get done and get to. Got some ones to fix. It's got the parts finally came in for the little SG pine cone above my finger here. Just so many things to do. Uh, got invited to a local racetrack to do some short course truck racing and 110 buggy racing, even though I really don't have any really racing buggy models. Then we'll head out there and we'll see what uh, that is and maybe bring the 110 Truggy here, the Afna Hyper 10T. That'll be a lot of fun, but those meets are uh, pretty bald, so we'll have to figure out. Also got the Losi Mini Truggy here, the Mini 8T. 
So we got like some options to bring out there. Of course, I got my Blitz, which is the pink one up here. I got, that's my two-wheel drive racing short course truck. It's an oldie goldie, but still runs good. We'll see how it does. So guys, thanks for tuning in to this update. It's me, blah, blah, blah. But I hope everyone's doing well. Hope everyone's enjoying to get an RC, especially in North America. It's summertime. Uh, hope everyone's getting a chance to kick up back and relax a little bit. Seems to be a bit of a hotter summer than the past. Still a lot of rain coming through. It seems like every few days there's thunderstorms. Uh, kind of put a little damper on things, but we're plugging on with the way it goes. Vacation time's coming. It's always good in the hood. So guys, thanks for watching Mike Cersei Corner. We're going to see a lot less videos in the next month or two, but don't worry, I'm not going anywhere, and we'll be back full force at the end of the summer. All right, peace, take care, and we'll see you soon on the next one. All right.